In today's exciting episode, we're going to have a look at the rabbit hole I went down after changing over a few of the USB ports in the camper to USB-C. Everything's not as it seems, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name's Daryl, welcome to the channel. Today, USB connectors. When I originally built the camper, I put in USB connectors to charge, you know, phones and power 12 volt devices. You know, the, the traditional square USB connector that we all know. At the time, there was a couple of guys in the comment section said, well, why aren't you putting in USB-C? Because that's where we're going. But at that time, I couldn't get a USB-C that would fit in a fascia panel like this. Uh, it was just unobtainable. And at that time also, I was mainly just using USB. However, times change. I upgraded my laptop to the latest version and everything was now USB-C to the extent where I really don't have USB cables anymore. And it became a bit of a problem with the camper because you'd have to scour around and look for some so you could plug into the camper. And I have looked ages ago, there were no real connectors available, um, but I did have a look recently and Nava, who produced the original USB connectors that I bought, um, had a dual USB-C and USB connector that had a voltage display on it. Wasn't really chuffed with the voltage display, but the draw card was it would fit into the square backing plates. Um, so I thought, great, I'll buy them, we'll live with the, the voltage meter on them. The problem being though, that once I installed them, everything worked as they should, but the orange glow of the voltmeters nearly drives you nuts and you'd end up putting something over them. At that point I thought, well, surely some other manufacturer's got one of these that will fit into this fascia plate um, that doesn't have the, the digital display on it in orange uh, and or I can turn it off. Uh, so I went and had a look but found myself down a rabbit hole because these things aren't all equal and they all put out different wattages and ampage. I then came across an Australian manufacturer called Terraloom Industries, uh, no affiliation, I just found their website after madly Googling, and they had exactly what I was after. In, in the dual USB and USB-C versions, they sold a 30 watt quick charge USB-C and a 65 watt quick charge USB-C. And I've bought the 65s because they were stating that, well, it'll charge your laptops and everything. And I had a look at the 240 volt power supply um, on my Mac and that's 67 watts, I think. And I thought I may be onto something here because I might get to the point I don't need to take that away either. So purchased all those. I bought some backing plates. The backing plates were 495 each and I figured, well, there may be a reason why I need these, although they did look identical to the Nava versions and they are, except for the fact they may be a little bit more matte, but they do have a cutout on one side where the Nava version doesn't. When you put the, the outlet onto it, the cutout aligns with the plastic cover that goes into the, uh, the fittings. So it sits really nice. The Nava one doesn't have that. So it's, it's, it's a nicer unit to be honest from my perspective. Um, we're fitting them to the camper. It's basically just been pull out the old one, push in the new one. Uh, with this outside outlet that I've got, I've used the Nava cover because it's screwed into the camper and everything. Uh, the only thing that has been slightly different is between the Nava and the Terraloom. The Terraloom is about that much longer. And that was a little bit of a drama fitting it into these. And, and I just needed to use a shorter connectors to connect it up to this. And once I've done that, it just fitted straight in. She's tight, but it fits quite well. This has all been connected over. With using them, the only difference is these have got a button on them and you actually have to press the button to make these work. If you don't press the button, they won't work. And when they, the button is pressed, they do light up. But they light up around the outer circle and they light up on the entrance to both connectors. But it's not an in-your-face orange like the Nava versions are. It's a very subdued blue. And it's, I looked at it and thought, I could sleep in here with that, whereas 
the in your face orange of the Nava versions, um, it's it's just not a good look where in, inside somewhere where you're sleeping. Um, the only downside I can see with these is that you do have to press the button for it to work. So you can't have the light off and it charging. It's either light on and charging or light off and it's not working. Which, which is not a bad thing I suppose from a safety aspect but it's only 12 volts so you know if your kids are licking it well they probably shouldn't be anyway. Um, I've still got one more to fit inside. Let's fit that and we'll have a chat about charging times on my laptop because it does work. As you can see in that footage, I'm just swapping over like to like and it's a really fast swap over. Um, I'm just taking out the complete Nava USB-C connector and their fascia plate and putting in the Terraloom fast charge USB-C connector and Terraloom's fascia plate. All of the screw holes line up. Uh, it's, it's like they were made in the same factory, which they may well be, I don't know. but. Um, it, it's worked out really well for me, which is more good luck than good management. Um, all the wiring on the back, the spade connectors are the same size. I'm connecting up to my loom, which is fused, and the wire gauge is enough for this sort of current draw. Terra Loom have also supplied their own loom uh, with each of their fittings. It's a really nice loom. There's an inline fuse, there's six millimeter ring connectors, and they've also supplied a couple of spade connectors in the package. So they've kind of got all your installation uh, bits covered. This would be really good if you were connecting this in the back of a vehicle that was near an auxiliary battery, because um, you wouldn't have to do anything. You'd just connect it all up and it would be good to go. Before removing the Nava USB-C though, I did try and charge the laptop on it and it wouldn't charge. It did come up with a charge symbol on the laptop, but underneath it just said battery not charging and that's how it just stayed. I did notice though on the digital display on the USB connector, the Nava version, was um, it had 13.1 volts prior to plugging in the laptop and then once it was plugged in it went down to three. So you could see what sort of current it was trying to pull out of it. Um, with the Terraloom fast charge USB-C, uh, it's just like using my AC current at home. One thing I did do was, and one thing I read before installing these and purchasing, was that you need a higher rated USB-C cable. Um, and 100 watts is what's been su suggested. But you can see the difference in diameter of the cable. And with that cable, with that connector, uh, it just charges the laptop nearly as fast as the AC brick. Not as fast. Um, when I looked at the time remaining to fully charged, on, when connected to USB-C, it was an hour 22. If I connected the AC brick to it, it came down to about an hour five. Um, but even connected to the USB-C port, it, um, you're just watching it click over in percentage um, before your eyes. So, you know, it's, it's nearly as fast, not as fast, um, but for me, I, I think that's fine. Um, so I've done all of the USB-C ports in the camper. I've done the external one. I still have one to do in the galley, which I actually forgot about when I was ordering the, the connectors. Um, and I'll probably put, you know, the 30 watt one or something in. I don't need a 65 watt one there. I don't know if I can charge two laptops on the same circuit. It may be a bit too much for it. I do notice that when the uh, laptop is plugged into the USB port, the fast charge one, that on my uh, Red Arc Red Vision screen, it's pulling about between five and six amps out of it. So it's it's, it's more than what the other one would pull, but you'd expect that because it's pushing a lot more current through to it. Um, so overall, after buying a couple of different uh, connectors, USB-C connectors, very happy with these. Um, I'm not gonna go all ax murderer at night when it's, it's glowing orange in the camper. The subdued blue is fine. And to be honest, you can, you can turn them off 
put the plug over the top, there's no light um, and it's happy days. So I hope that I didn't realize all this before I went down this, this rabbit hole and I presume there's others that don't. I know there's a whole heap of guys out there that are well versed in the 12 volt world, um, but this was one little aspect that I didn't realize. So I hope that's helped someone today. Uh, that's it for today and I'll see you next time. Bye now.